Hello heroes, it's Dr. Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel. Good to see you guys on Instagram. We're just in 15 minutes a day. We're gonna fuel your mind, your body, and your future. All right, just for the announcements, We Are Heroes, episode 49. Yes, 49 is out live today. It was a great one when we were in Clearwater, Florida. We had a great week uh, week doing that. It was awesome. Uh, so make sure you guys are checking us, check us out. And also, remember, uh, follow us on YouTube because that has all the We Are Heroes episodes that are there as well. So you could be able to look back on them. You know, and you'll you'll see. So by the end of the week, we have kind of a special announcement for you guys. It's a... It's uh, somewhat romantic, but somewhat something good by the end of it, and you'll see uh, what's going on. So maybe make sure you stay tuned for episode 50 and 51, uh, and then just please give us your feedback and everything that's going on. We're also on Instagram today, Instagram Live, so I also do these on Instagram Live as well because they do hold those in those stories. So if you are watching that, just uh, put any questions you have right there, and we'll be able to answer them as well. If you're watching this, do put your questions and any type of comments on there as well, and I'll be, uh, be able to answer them for you. Anyway, all right, all right. So let's get into today. Today we're talking about: um, Are you an overnight success? Right? Because you always you always hear about it, and we always know the story that you know I'm the overnight success that took 30 years. I got it. But what what really what is the equation of that? See, the overnight success it's kind of an oxymoron because it's really a, co a combination of years and years, months, weeks, you name it, of I, I don't want to use failures, but a heck of a lot of learning experiences. You follow what I'm saying? So, I mean, you had to run into the wall. I had a, a patient today who's coming in. He's starting his uh, own flooring company, and he's just out of his mind, going crazy because it's new and he's getting started. And I'm like, listen, this is awesome. I'm like, because all these, he goes, all the roads are leading to nowhere. I'm like, that's great. Because you want to find you want to find as many roads that lead to nowhere as possible. So you know what? So you find the right road. And I said, well, can you apprentice with someone? So he's finding someone who's doing what he's doing. Well, this is where thought leaders come in because that whole overnight success thing, you can be pretty damn close to an overnight success if when you set out for that goal, or that dream of yours, you find others that have done the same thing and they will literally shrink time, right? Because if you want to, for instance, my patient building a flooring company. So what he does, you know, he's going to reach out, he reaches out to people that are doing that well. And even though they'll shrink the time, right? Because They'll teach them all the mistakes and the things to pay attention to, uh, and to, to shrink the time and to get to where it needs to be quicker. There's still going to be a learning curve. All right, so anything you do, embrace the unknowns. That's what I love about the unknowns because a lot of times the overnight success, it was nothing. A lot of times the overnight success wasn't even the main thing you were going out for in the beginning. Isn't that crazy? Like you always hear, well, I, was, I, I thought I was going to be this my entire life. I thought I was going out for this goal. And then along the journey... I met so-and-so or this opportunity happened and it brought me here. And they always say, I never thought it would have happened this way. Well, that's why the greatest known thing in your life is to embrace the unknowns. We're scared of the unknowns because your brain knows what it could lose. Your brain doesn't know what it can gain. We can have an idea, but viscerally it knows what it could lose. But the unknowns, even though they might feel scary, the only, the only reason why something's scary is because you need to make a decision. So when you have these emotions of should I do this or should I do that, I want you to, when you say it, kind of take the time to let yourself go, where, where do you feel it, right? So do you feel this option makes you feel light, energetic, and happy? and almost a little scared because it's exciting? Or does it feel heavy and daunting and just not your lane? So this is where when Whitney, my wife, she talks about intuition a lot. This is something where that really comes into play, listening to your gut, listening to who you are, your spirit. And if you have that excited, this will be scary, but it's fun, then go for it. And then let the unknowns take you there. So every success, so every quote unquote overnight success was a long string of unknowns. That's why you go for it. I always talk about have the vision. You know there's something out there. Go towards the vision. But then be willing to course correct along the way. Don't be so stubborn in your plan where an amazing opportunity comes and you neglect it. Or you say, no, i got to stick to this plan. Because that next opportunity could take you to some level that you never, ever dreamed possible. And it's really amazing when you get to see it happen in your life. It's a wonderful thing. So the unknowns always embrace them. They're so important. And that's where all the genius is. That's where the glory is. That's where the story is. That is where God is. And that is where the opportunity is at. 
So when you hit your goals, remember that whole overnight success thing. We know it's no such thing, but no one ever talks about, well, what, what, they're not an overnight success, but what were the variables? Number one, they kept driving forward. Number two, when they hit dead end walls or dead end roads, they said, well, this isn't the way, right? So that was a learning experience. They never failed because they were learning something new. And then all those, uh, the, the relationships, the things that worked out and didn't, that was all setting up clarity, right? Every t I was telling you before, you hit a dead end road, it gives you more clarity on what not to do. So it kind of creates the clarity of the map and then the relationships you meet or the people you meet along the way or the new opportunities that start to happen, this starts shaping this clarity of, of this thing that you're going through or what you're doing. And by the end of it, you look back and it almost looks like a masterpiece, right? It's beautiful, it's an amazing story, and no one else could have ever planned it because no one else can plan it. You can't even plan it. But the, the whole thing is being obedient and, and going towards where your heart's calling you. You're not staying comfort and tormented, right? I believe there's comfort and torment at the same time. But when you know there's something more, there you know there's something you need to reach forward to, and you embrace that mindset, you embrace the rather go for it than stay where I'm at, at least I know I, I gave it a try. And then when you start developing those gifts and talents or where you're learning different skills along the way towards that dream or that goal, and then you start finding your vehicle, the things that you really like to enjoy to do, whether it be speaking or writing or video, whatever that may be, or teaching, and then you start to see all these things start to happen. And it really almost becomes a beautiful movie that you're in, in the moment, and then you're anxious to see where it's gonna play out. And a lot of times, you're always gonna feel that you're a chapter ahead. You're just a chapter ahead. You don't need to know the ending of the book, because you can't know the ending of the book, because if you knew the ending of the book, you'd think too much. So a lot of times, this is where, it's a beautiful way where, you could only control so many things, but what you can control is your reaction to the circumstances, right? So when when that new opportunity comes, are you gonna are you gonna go for it or not? When you hit that dead end wall, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna sulk on it? Are you gonna say, well, I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna go down this route? So your your reaction, what you do during those circumstances, dictates really if you're a quote unquote overnight success because that's all that was an overnight success they weren't smarter than you they weren't they definitely weren't more educated than you they weren't more gifted than you they weren't more talented than you they weren't more blessed than you they were you but they were you that didn't quit and that's what it comes down to they were relentless they didn't quit they learned from uh, their experiences they leveraged them they developed the skills they asked for help and even though we might say someone's an overnight success, even when you, you'll never feel that way either because you'll reach a point, remember, you reach a peak, and then what happens? You'll see another peak. So it's just that, 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 that potential, that, and that next act of your life is never really a final act. I believe every seven to 10 years, you'll go through season shifts, right? The seasons change in your life, and during those times, uh, you're, you just become the hero where you're at. So right now, wherever you're at, you wanna, you wanna be the hero where you're at, and then if you're the hero where you're at, then if there's a time for a seasonal change or a job change, and that's what that is. But right now, it just might be a time to just hero up and be the best what you could be in the moment you're at. So the overnight success thing, you know, when people talk about it, it's like, yep, so-and-so was, you know, we never knew why. But we now we know why. It was not that they were lucky. It was that they just, they just kept moving forward and they found out what didn't work. And that was really a blessing to them. When they found out what didn't work, they kept moving forward. And during the experience of it, they met people. Unknowns started to happen around their life. Opportunities, people, experiences that all came through their life. And they learned from those. And maybe they, they got into something they never would have dreamed of. They, they usually say it fell in their lap. It didn't fell in their lap. They were prepared. You know, I read a great book about Michael. Uh, someone interviewed Will Smith. It says, how do you stay motivated? Um, how do you stay motivated for all his work and all his jobs? And he goes, or how do you get motivated? He's like, I stay motivated. He goes, I stay prepared. So he's constantly preparing on his skill. He's always working on his skill. He's always staying motivated because then when the opportunity hits, boom, he's prepared, he's ready. You know, he's not like someone who gets the call and then has to get ready. So what a great concept. Always be preparing. Always be ready for the opportunity and always be motivated to keep moving forward. And that creates the, the illusion of some overnight success, but all it is is you being prepared, reaching the opportunities, and you're reaching a level that other people just haven't reached yet. But when you reach that level, you give other people permission that it is, you're, you are able to do it, and then you are a motivation for them as well and an inspiration. Well, if you guys had a great day and uh, continue to have a great day, make sure you watch episode 49 of We Are Heroes. 
And also what I would definitely want you to do is when you, when you watch the We Are Heroes, comment on some of your favorite episodes that you liked We Are Heroes, or the bits and the things that you really like, the concepts. I know everybody loves the, the embrace the unknown. You know, I know you guys like that one. That is a good one because it really is counterintuitive to what we think, but then when you realize and open your eyes, like, yeah, my whole life, all the greatest things in my life came because of the unknowns that I couldn't prepare for. And if I did know them, I probably would have been too scared to move forward. So I think the unknowns are, it's kind of a veil that you're not supposed to see because if you did, you'd probably be too scared to move forward. And when you're ready for them, you get to see them and you take action on them. Uh, plus also uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Instagram. Good to see you guys. And uh, YouTube, we already said that. And also uh, we're on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, and Snapchat and Instagram. So have fun, guys. Have an amazing day. Please DM me or private message me with any questions you may have. And we'll see you soon with tomorrow with 15 Minute Fuel, which is in 15 minutes a day. will free your mind, your body, and your future. God bless.